Did you make up that story about the pillow? Yes. You make up little stories to illustrate in the tradition of the parable. Wouldn't the things that actually happen in life be more important to, to analyze than made up story? What actually happens in life is beyond interpretation. The truth makes for a bad sermon. It tends to be confusing and have no clear conclusion. I received a letter from my brother in Maryland yesterday. He's very sick. Maybe you should go and see him. I can't leave my class. How's Don Mueller doing? I don't know. You don't see him? I see him every day. I just don't know how he's doing. I don't know how to judge these things now. I stopped speaking to him for fear of being misunderstood. Isn't that a shame? I actually avoided him the other day in the hall and I might have passed him. He doesn't understand why. I noticed you didn't come to me for confession. No, uh, I went to Monsignor Benedict. He's very kind. I wasn't? It wasn't that. You know. You know why. You're against me. No. You're not convinced? It's not for me to be convinced one way or the other. It's Sister Aloysius. Are you just an extension of her? She's my superior. But what about you? I wish I knew nothing of it whatsoever. I wish the idea had never even come into my mind. How did it enter your mind? Sister Aloysius. I feel as if my reputation has been damaged through no fault of my own. But I'm reluctant to take steps necessary to repair for fear of doing further harm. It's frustrating, I can tell you that. Is it true? I believe this man is creating, or has already brought about, an improper relationship with your son. I don't know. I know I'm right. Why you need to know something like that for? Sure you done, sister. You got some kind of righteousness against this priest, and now you want to drag my son into it? My son don't need additional difficulties. Let him take the girls till he leave this place in jail. He know how to do that. I taught him how to. What kind of mother are you? Excuse me? You know nothing about life. Just sit there. I know <laughs> enough. You done. I know what I won't accept. <laughs> you accept what you have to accept and work with it. Sorry to be so strong. Put it here in this room. This man is in my school. <laughs> he gotta be somewhere. He might be doing some good. Have you ever thought about that? He's after the boys. <laughs> Maybe some of these boys wanna get cut. Maybe my son is that way. What are you telling me? talking about his nature. Listen to me with care, Mrs. Mueller. I'm only interested in actions. It's hopeless to discuss a child's possible inclination. I'm finding it difficult enough to address a man's deeds. This isn't about what the boy may be, but what the man is, it's about the man. You are the one allowing people to say things out loud. It's about the man. Did you make up that story about the pillow? Yes. You make up little stories to illustrate tradition of the parable. Aren't the things that actually happen in life more worthy of interpretation than a made-up story? No. What actually happens in life is beyond interpretation. The truth makes for a bad sermon. It tends to be confusing and has no clear conclusion. I received a letter from my brother in Maryland yesterday. He's very sick. Maybe you should go and see him. 
I can't leave my class. How's Donald Mueller doing? I don't know. You don't see him? I see him every day. It's just, I don't know how he's doing. I don't know how to judge these things now. You know, I stopped speaking to him for fear of it being misunderstood. Isn't that a shame? I actually avoided him in the hall the other day when I might have passed him. He doesn't understand why. He doesn't understand. I noticed he didn't come to me for confession. No. I went to Monsignor Benedict. Oh. He's very kind. I wasn't. It wasn't that. As you know. You know why. You're against me. No. You're not convinced. It's not for me to be convinced one way or the other. It's Sister Aloysius. Are you just an extension of her? She's my superior. What about you? I wish I knew nothing whatever about it. I wish the idea had never entered my mind. How did the idea enter your mind? Sister Aloysius! I feel like my reputation's been damaged through no fault of my own. I'm reluctant to take steps to repair it for fear of doing further harm. It's frustrating. I can tell you that. Is it true? I believe this man is creating, or has already brought about, an improper relationship with your son. I don't know. I know I'm right. Why you need to know something like that for sure when you don't? Please, sister, you got some kind of righteous cause going with this priest, and now you want to drag my boy into it. My son doesn't need additional difficulties. Let him take the good and leave the rest when he leaves this place in June. He knows how to do that. I taught him how to do that. What kind of Excuse mother me. are you? You don't know enough about life to say a thing like that, sister. <laughs> I know enough. You know the rules, maybe, but that don't cover it. I know what I won't accept. You accept what you've got to accept, and you work with it. That's the truth I know. <sighs> Sorry to be so sharp. You're in here in this room. This man is in my school. <laughs> well, he's got to be somewhere. Maybe he's doing some good, too. You ever think of that? Or the boys. Well, maybe some of them boys want to get caught. Maybe what you don't know, maybe, is my son is that way. That's why his father beat him, not the wine. He beat Donald for being what he is. What are you telling me? I'm his mother. I'm talking about his nature now, not anything he's done. But you can't hold a child responsible for what God gave him to be. Listen to me with care, Mrs. Mueller. I'm only interested in actions. It's hopeless to discuss a child's possible inclination. I'm finding it difficult enough to address a man's deeds. This isn't about what a boy may be, but what the man is. It's about the man. But there's the Nature. Let's leave that out of it. Well, forget it then. You're the one forcing people to say these things out loud. Did you make up that story about the pillow? Yes, you make up little stories to illustrate. The tradition of the parable. Wouldn't it be better to use things that actually happen in life instead of a made-up story? No. What actually happens in life is beyond interpretation. The truth makes for a bad sermon. It tends to be confusing and have no clear conclusion. I received a letter from my brother in Maryland yesterday. He's very sick. Maybe you should go and see him. I can't leave my class. How's Donald Mueller doing? I don't know. You don't see him? I see him every day. I just don't know how he's doing. I don't know how to judge these things now. I stopped speaking to him for fear of it being confused. Isn't that a shame? He doesn't understand why. I noticed he did not come to me for confession. No, I went to Monsignor Benedict. 
He's very kind. And I wasn't? It wasn't that. You know, you know why. You're against me. No. You're not convinced. It's not for me to be convinced one way or the other. It's Sister Aloysius. Are you just an extension of her? She's my superior. But what about you? I wish it never even occurred to me. I wish the thought hadn't even entered my mind. And how did it enter your mind? Sister Aloysius. I feel as if my reputation has been damaged through no fault of my own. But I am reluctant to take the steps necessary to repair it for fear of doing further harm. It's frustrating, I can tell you that. Is it true? Did you make up that story about the pillow? Yes. You make up little stories to illustrate in the tradition of the parables. Aren't the things that actually happen in life more worthy of interpretation than a made-up story? No. What actually happens in real life is beyond interpretation. The truth makes for a bad sermon. It tends to be confusing and has no clear conclusion. I received a letter from my brother in Maryland yesterday. He's very sick. Maybe you should go see him. I can't leave my class. How's Donald Mulder doing? I don't know. You don't see him? I see him every day. It's just, I don't know how he's doing. I don't know how to judge these things now. I actually avoided him the other day when I might have seen him in the hall. It's not his fault. He doesn't understand these things. I know you ain't come to me for a confession. No. I went to Monsignor Benedict. He's very kind. And I wasn't? It wasn't that. As you know. You're against you me. You know why. You're against me. No, no, I'm not. You're not convinced. It's not for me to be convinced one way or the other. It's Sister Aloysius. Are you a extension of her? She's my superior. What about you? I wish I knew nothing about it whatsoever. I wish the idea had never entered my mind. How did it enter your mind? Sister Aloysius. I feel my reputation is being damaged to no fault of my own, but I'm reluctant to take the necessary stuff to repair it and fear of doing further harm. It's frustrating, I can tell you that. Is it true? <laughs>